A couple of seconds before six o'clock, dozens are dead in Ukraine. Russia appears to be escalating its attacks against Ukraine's capital city, Kyiv. Now, this morning, we're hearing of reports of missiles and airstrikes damaging the north and south of the city. Joining us to dive a little deeper into the developments overnight, seeing what's latest into our newsroom for you this morning, WPTV's Chris Gilmore. Chris. And good morning, Mike. You know, a live look at the capital city, Kyiv, just hours ago. You see here the general staff of Ukraine's armed forces said Russian troops have not made major advances over the past 24 hours. This despite expanding strikes to the West. That's according to the Associated Press. It reports Ukrainian forces are targeting Russian bases and their logistical abilities. At least 35 people are dead and 134 others are hurt after Russian missiles hit a Ukrainian military base over the weekend. The base is about 20 miles from the Polish border. A NATO official says no personnel from the alliance were at the base. U.S. documentary filmmaker Brent Renault, who you see there, was killed at the hands of Russian forces, according to Ukrainian officials. Renault died on the outskirts of Kiev. Renault spent 20 years making documentaries and won a Peabody Award and two Columbia DuPont Awards. He was 50 years old. An American journalist who was traveling with Renault was also shot. Journalist Juan Arredondo says they were both shot while traveling in a vehicle after they had stopped at a Russian checkpoint. 